Good afternoon and welcome. Our top story of the day remains the violent face-off at the India-China border on Monday. The Indian Army announced last night that 20 Indian soldiers were killed in action as a result of the physical skirmish with Chinese troops. India's Defence Minister Rajna Singh has made his first public statement on the standoff with China. He expressed pain over the death of Indian servicemen in Ladakh and said that the Indian troops displayed exemplary courage and valor in the highest traditions of the Indian Army. Sources are telling us that four Indian soldiers are in critical condition after the violent face-off with Chinese troops on Monday evening. The Indian Army's statement confirmed that the two sides have now disengaged from the Galwan area. 17 Indian troops who were critically injured at the line of actual control succumbed to their injuries due to the sub-zero temperature and high altitude. The Indian Army also reaffirmed its commitment to protect the territorial integrity and sovereignty of India. Casualties have been reported on both sides, according to the Indian government. A U.S. intelligence report indicates that there are 35 casualties on the Chinese side. However, the Chinese government has refused to confirm any casualties. This violent clash is among the first to have happened in over four decades as the border has been largely peaceful. On Tuesday, the Indian Army confirmed that one commanding officer was among those killed by Chinese troops. The Indian side had reportedly gone to demolish a temporary structure which the Chinese had built in the region within Indian territory. In response, Chinese troops surrounded the Indian soldiers and a physical skirmish ensued. Now we have learned that no guns were discharged during the face-off. Battens, stones and whatever improvised weapons the soldiers had at the time were used in defense from the aggressive Chinese troops. The Foreign Ministry of India has come out with a strong statement denouncing China's unilateral bid to change the status quo at the border. India has said that China departed from consensus to respect the line of actual control in Gowan. In the aftermath of the skirmish at the India-China border, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called for an all-party meeting. The all-party meeting has been scheduled at 5 p.m. on the 19th of June. Party presidents of different political parties have been invited to attend this virtual meet, and Prime Minister Narendra Modi is expected to brief the opposition of the situation unfolding at the India-China border. Now, the meeting will seek to get the opposition on board with the strategy the government seeks to employ in the border standoff. It has been learned that suggestions will be sought from the opposition to arrive at an all-party consensus in dealing with China. The PMO has tweeted, and I quote, In order to discuss the situation in the India-China border areas, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called for an all-party meeting at 5 p.m. on the 19th of June. Presidents of various political parties would take place in this virtual meeting.